watercraft racing scramble and fan. Every October, your town, Great Cavistry City, flies all these flags. 50 flags from 50 nations over one venue. There is only one other sporting event that flies this many flags over one venue, and that's every four years. That's the Olympics. The World Finals is the only sporting event that brings this many countries to compete yeah. against each other at one venue. I think the one thing that people aren't uh, hitting on here for you is fiscal impact. World Finals bring 16, approximately 16 million dollars to this community. One third of all the people who come to the World Finals will rent a house. One third of that group will buy a house. One third of that group will not only have one house, but several houses. Their families will come. The fiscal impact is incredible. They are here, they buy gas. They have lodging. They eat out every single night. It's a huge fiscal impact. Every other house, you know, you drive down your neighborhoods, every other house has got a jet ski either parked next to it or in the garage. Why is that ski not out on the water? Maybe they don't know where to go. Maybe they don't have someone to show them some of the most beautiful places that Lake Havasu has to offer. We need a safe place to groom world champions. In this room, there are six world championships. I'm not talking regional and I'm not talking national. I'm talking these are the best people in the world that there is not another living, breathing human being on the face of the earth that could beat them in their sport. You have 17 national championships standing in this room. I think Lake Havasu's come to be a little complacent or even blase about what jet skiing brings to this community. And I right now want to thank every single person who's ever owned Body Beach. I want to thank you personally and publicly for allowing us to train at Body Beach and groom world champions, but we need a safe place. We need a safe place for the first timer to go and learn how to start, stop, go left, go right, and what happens if someone turns in front of you? It's unconscionable. We cannot afford to have one more death in this lake because someone was out there and they weren't trained. We cannot afford to have one more death because a safety rescue team was not prepared to come get them. The way I see it, this town really can't afford not to build this safety center. There are more watercraft in this town per capita than any other town in the world. When you have this many people coming to your town, bringing the kind of money that they bring, we must give them a safe place, and we must truly prove that we are the personal watercraft capital of the world, and I believe this council can do that. Thank you. Yay, Patrick.